change my horse with any that treads but on four pastures. He bounced from the earth as if his entrails were hares. Le cheval volant, the pegasus, chez les narines de feu. When I bestride him, I soar. I am a hawk. He, he trots on the air that the earth sings when he touches it. The bassist horn on his hoof is more musical than the pipe of Hermes. He is of the color of the nutmeg and the fire of the ginger. It is a beast for Perseus. He is pure air and fire. <laughs> and the dull elements of earth and water never appear in him, but only in patient stillness while his rider mounts. He is indeed a horse, and all other beasts you make all jades. Indeed, my lord, it is a most absolute and excellent horse. It is the Prince of Palfreys. <laughs> <laughs> his bidding, his, his neighing is like the bidding of a monarch, and his countenance enforces homage. May the man hath no wit, but cannot, from the rising of the lark to the lodging of the lamb, very deserved praise on my part. It is a theme as fluent as the sea, turned the sand into eloquent tongues, and my horse is argument for them all. <laughs> it is a subject for a sovereign to reason on, and for a sovereign sovereign to ride on, and for the <clears throat> world, familiar to us and unknown, to lay apart their particular functions and wonder at him. Oh, I once read a sonnet in his phrase. To get it thus. <laughs> Wonder of nature. I heard a sonnet begin so to one's mistress. <laughs> then do they imitate that which I composed for my course, sir, for my horse is my mistress. <laughs> <laughs> Your mistress bears well. <laughs> Me well? Which is the prescript praise and perfection of a good and particular mistress. <laughs> Nay, for me thought yesterday your mistress shrewdly shook your back. So perhaps did yours. Mine was not bridled and carried a rather large sword. <laughs> well, then belike she was old and gentle, and you rode like the kern of Ireland with your French hose off and your French strussers. Oh, you have good judgment in horsemanship. <laughs> Be warned by me then. They that ride so and ride not warily fall into foul bogs. I had rather have my horse to my mistress. I had as leave have my mistress a jade. I tell the constable, my mistress wears his own hair. I could make as true a boast as that had I a sow to my mistress. <laughs> Le chien est retourné à son propre vomissement, et la truie est lavé au bourbier. Oh, makes the use of anything. Yet do I not use my horse for my mistress, or any such proverb of so little kin to the purpose. Yeah, my lord constable, the armor that I saw in your tent tonight were those stars or suns upon it. Stars, my lord. Some will fall tomorrow, I hope. Uh, and yet my sky shall not want. That may be, for you bear a many superfluously, and twere more honor somewhere away. Even as your horse bears your praises, who would trot as well were some of your brags dismounted? What I could load him with a dessert. This night never ends. I will trot a mile tomorrow, and my way shall be paved with English faces. I will not say so for fear I should be faced out of my way. But I would it were day, I would fain be about the ears of the English. Who will go to Hazard with me for twenty prisoners? You must first go yourself to Hazard ere you have them. It's midnight. I'll go arm myself. <laughs> Your fair longs for morning. He longs to eat the English. Oh, I think he will eat all he kills. For the white hand of my lady, he is a gallant prince. I swear by her foot that she may tread out the oak. He is simply the most active gentleman of France. Mm, doing his activity, and he will still be doing. He did no harm that I heard. Nor will do none tomorrow. He shall keep that good name still. I know him to be valiant. I was told that by one who knows him better than you. What's he? 
Marry, he told me so himself, and said he cares not who knew it. You need not, it is no hidden virtue in him. By my faith, sir, but it is. Never anybody saw it but his lackey, tis a hooded valor, and when it appears, it will bait. You will never say well. I shall cap that proverb with there is flattery in friendship. And I will take that up with give the devil his due. Mm, well placed. There stands your friend to the devil. Have that very eye of that proverb with a pox of the devil. You are the better at proverbs by as much as a fool's bolt is soon shot. You have shot over. It is not the first time you were ever shot. My lord high constable, the English lie within <laughs> fifteen hundred <laughs> paces of your tents. Who hath measured the ground? The Lord Grand Prix. A valiant and most expert gentleman. Would it were day. Alas, poor Harry of England, he longs not for the dawning as we do. Now is the time to arm. Shall we about it? It is now two o'clock. So let me see. By ten tomorrow we shall each have a hundred Englishmen. 